644 to say the least. It was a disappointing end of the Saints season, losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the divisional round of the playoffs after beating them twice in the regular season. And it may have been the final game for Drew Brees. Here with more about what happened, what didn't happen, and what may happen in the future is WBLTV.com sports columnist and host of the Saints Happy Hour podcast, Ralph, Ralph Marlboro. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it was a bittersweet game. I mean, when it got down to, to the, the fourth quarter and it was 2020, I mean, I, I honest to God thought Drew will pull it out. However, he's playing a guy who's pulled it out way too many times. Well, I think like, Brady was sort of irrelevant in this game. You know, we, we wanted our happy ending, Eric, right? We wanted Drew to go out with the last home game for the Saints to win. But you don't get your happy endings in life. I, the Saints pick their worst time to play their worst game. I watched the last four minutes with my five-year-old son in my arms crying his eyes out. By the way, you are not a Saints fan until you ball your eyes out after a playoff loss. So, Max, kid, you're officially a Saints there fan now. And, and, and uh, Ralph, Ralph, I, I know you don't, you're not a fan of Tom Brady, but I could not say he was inconsequential in that game. He threw for like 130 yards. I mean, the, the Saints basically handed him the game and they took it. Well, Look, they did, yeah. If, if you have, if you'd have told me Sunday morning, Eric, that the Saints were going to have four turnovers, I would have watched a James Bond movie or something instead of that game. Listen, when you have four turnovers, it's like uh, a tourist on, at, on, in the French Quarter having four hurricanes and hoping not to throw up. Yeah, uh, you're just good. It's, it's going to go badly. Um, you know, listen, Drew's legacy. It won't be this game. I know we're all sad. No, and people are saying, no. Hey, this is this is what we we'll remember. It'll go away. The thing is with Drew, and I really believe this, he wanted to retire after 2018, but the Saints were supposed to win the Lombardi. It got stolen by the referees and bad luck and horrible officiating. And he came back for, I think, the city, for the fans, for the yeah. team. He wanted to give us another celebration. And he played and played maybe too long, but he did it in my and in, in my heart i believe he did it for us he wanted to give us another trophy and he gave us everything he had and yesterday he ran out of stuff to give but but you know what i'll, I'll tell you what you, you think about how well he did this season considering yeah. you know he lost some of his prime players he got really banged up this season and still came back early and played i mean it, it was kind of amazing and in in your in your gut when you when you watched him walk out of the dome yesterday and that final turnaround to look back at the, at the at the dome, that got to me. It it his kids playing and him and his wife sort of just together with that one moment on the video I saw it on Twitter. It 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 did get to me, and I have to say, for 15 years, man, he made the Saints. He made us believe that oh, yeah. every Sunday we could win. And I know there's a lot of Saints fans out there that are young. If you are a Saints fan of a certain age. To, to, go, to go to the fall and to look forward to it every Sunday and to believe the Saints could win because we had Drew, that's different, man. He gave us that. He made, Saints fan, he made Saints football not only relevant, but something that was that brought us together, that America and, the, and, and we all cared about it and we believed in the Saints in a way that we never did, and that's, that's all Drew. Well, it's and that 2009 Drew. season changed everything, you know? It was magic. And I'll tell you what, the relationship between Drew Brees and Sean Payton uh, is one that will go down in football history. It did. Look, listen, the Saints changed how football is played. Drew Brees changed the way teams play. It used to be teams would throw the ball down the field and it completion percentage and that sort of didn't matter. Drew Brees came in and said, look, I'm going to complete 75% of my passes. We're going to throw the ball all over the place. And the Saints threw for 5,000 yards. They won championships. And history is going to be really kind to Drew Brees in a way I don't think people realize now because they're going to look back at him and they're going to be like, oh, my God, he threw for 5,000 yards more oh, than no, anybody. He, he's amazing. You and know, I, I and think I just, there's no doubt – you know, he'll, he'll be viewed in history as one as probably one of the greatest. You know, I, I still think he and, he and Tom Brady are two of the greatest that ever played the game. It is. And listen, you know, the Saints, it's going to be a strange world we're going into, Eric, I because know. they're going to lose assistant coaches. They're going to lose front office people. And listen, Drew, we know yesterday is the end. They have salary capture. It's a whole new world for the Saints going into 2021. And it just makes me so incredibly sad but also thankful that we we got we this. Had him, i mean this yeah. was this 
this was the dream of every kid that's a Saints fan that's probably 35 or older. We said, man, if we could just win one, if we could just be good <laughs> for a stretch, my, my God, wouldn't this be amazing? And yeah, it had heartache and it had ups and it had downs. But to get one championship and to know we got it, I just think it's I think it's special. And, you know, I'm just it's it's an, it was emotional yesterday sitting and watching yeah. him the end of an era for the Saints. And, uh, you know, there's nothing really there's nothing really to say except life is life is cruel. Sometimes you don't get the ending you want. Well, we always should have gone out holding that Lombardi trophy. All right, Ralph, thank you very much. We appreciate your insight. And uh, I guess this will be the, it for us for till next season. Well, we got, the, we got the draft, and I'll be over at your house uh, tonight for dinner. Right? All right, there you go. <laughs> uh, honey, lock the doors. Uh, you can follow the Saints by using our free Bless You Boys app. You'll find the latest information about that regarding the roster, their uh, off-season reports, maybe some stuff from Ralph. I don't know. The app is free at the app. The app 